What is Git? Git is a free open source distributed version control system tool designed to handle everything from small to very large projects with speed and efficiency. Git was also invented to fulfill certain necessities that the developers faced before Git. Git is primarily used to manage your project comprising a set of code or text files that may change. So, what is version control? Version control is the management of changes to documents, computer programs, large websites and other collection of information. There are two types of VCs or version controls. Centralized version control system, distributed version control system. So, Git is a distributed version control system that supports a distributed non-linear workflows by providing data assurance for developing quality software. In upcoming videos, I would like to discuss more about version control and two types of VCs more briefly. What is Bash? Bash is the shell or command language interpreter for the GNU operating system. And Git Bash is simply access, execute and manage Git using some terminal in Windows operating system. Go to the official Git website and download the latest version for Windows. Click the download link for Windows and allow the download to complete. Double click the file to extract and launch the installer. The system will ask if you want to run the software. Click run. You will be welcomed to git setup wizard. Review GNU general public license and when you are ready to install click next. The installer will ask you for an installation location. Leave the default unless you have somewhere else to change it and click next. A component selection screen will appear. Leave the defaults unless you have a specific need to change them and click next. The installer will offer to create a start menu folder. Simply click next. Select a text editor you would like to use with git. Use the drop down menu to select and click next. This installation step allows you to change the path environment. The path is default set for the directories included when you run a command from the command line. Leave this on the middle or recommended section and click next. The next option relates to server certificates. Most users should use the default the next selection converts line endings. It is recommended that you leave the default selection and click next. Choose the terminal emulator you want to use. The default Minty is recommended for its features. Click next. The default options are recommended. However, this step allows you to decide which extra option you would like to enable and click next. Depending on the version of the git you are installing, it may offer to install experimental features. Unless you are feeling adventurous, leave them unchecked and click install. Once the installation complete, tick the box to view release notes or launch git bash and click finish. To verify git, go to git bash and type git minus minus version it will give the latest version installed in your pc